Okay, let's talk about the new Black Shop 5 phone. So this is the Black Shop 5 and this is the Black Shop 5 Pro. Now as you can see right over here, they have totally different designs, but they have very, very similar hardware. And in fact, it's almost hard to tell the difference if you don't look into the spec sheet. So I've been using both of these phones for about two weeks already. They are excellent gaming phones and here are my thoughts about them. All right, so this review is going to be more focused on the Black Shop 5 Pro, but I will also talk briefly about the Black Shop 5 because I've been using the Black Shop 5 Pro the most during these past two weeks. But of course, there is still a selling point for the Black Shop 5 despite being the lower end model, and I'll share with you more about it in a bit. Now, these two phones feature very different designs, and it's very easy to tell them apart from their backs alone. Now, the Black Shop 5 here features a glossy glass cover uh, that actually looks pretty nice. There's a really nice holographic effect when it gets in contact with light and the LED lighting here has a different design than the Black Shop 5 Pro as you can see right over here. Now the Black Shop 5 Pro has my favorite pick here because it has a frosted glass material that doesn't attract fingerprints at all and it gets a way cooler design with this uh, like, like a diagram that, that's right over here. I, I don't know what kind of design is there but it actually looks pretty cool. It's, it is as if it is taken out from a worksheet of something and you put it snapping on, on the back right over here and I think it looks really, really cool. The second design difference between these two phones would be their frames. Now, even though these two phones are made with aluminum construction, the Black Shop 5 comes with a matte aluminum frame, whereby the Black Shop 5 Pro comes with a chrome-like aluminum frame. Now, to be honest, my favorite would have to go to the Black Shop 5 this time because the frames are actually less prone to fingerprints and scratches, whereby on the Black Shop 5 Pro, this kind of glossy chrome surface would actually attract fingerprints and scratches in the long term. But if you are going to put them on a Case, it doesn't really matter. Now, let's talk about specs. These two phones are vastly different in terms of specs, which is why they have a huge price difference of 1,500 ringgit. The Black Shop 5 has a Snapdragon 870 SoC, and the Black Shop 5 Pro has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 SoC. The SoC is just part of the story, but let's talk about their displays here. Now, the Black Shop 5 and 5 Pro, they both feature 6.67 inch AMOLED displays, but the Black Shop 5 Pro gets the advantage of having a 1 billion color OLED display. And both phones, they will have the same 144Hz refresh rate and the 720Hz polling rate, which is actually really great for gaming. But personally, if you were to consume content and view photos, the Black Shop 5 Pro has a way better display than the Black Shop 5 and you can definitely see the color difference between the two when you are watching movies alone. Now, another thing that the Black Shop 5 Pro is better than the 5 is its dual stereo speakers. Now, both phones feature stereo speakers at the same location, but I can tell you that the Black Shop 5 Pro produces way better details and way punchier bass than the Black Shop 5. And here's the sound test on both phones. Software-wise, these two phones ship with Joy UI 13 that's based on Android 12. They are essentially based on Xiaomi's Mi UI 13, so you get pretty much the same animations, the same set of icons, the same themes, and everything that's on this phone, apart from the fact that you get a more gamer-centric theme on these two phones. Now, of course, running off Mi UI 13, you do expect the same amount of bugs that you face on Xiaomi phones if you happen to face anything. Like, one of the things that I am not very happy with the software experience is is this uh, virus checker that always pops up when you install an app over a Google Play Store, which is, I think, kind of unnecessary right there. But you could actually easily just disable that if you really hit that feature. But this is something I think that Black Shot should really just, you know, remove all these inconveniences on a gaming phone since what they want to offer on this phone is a premium gaming experience.
During the review period, I do not find a difference when it comes to both phones' everyday performance. Now, whether you are texting, web browsing, doing social media, these phones rock and the switch up really fast. Now, unless you compare them side by side, you will definitely notice that the Black Shop 5 Pro is a slightly snappier device. But I can say even for the Black Shop 5, it is still no slouch in 2022 considering its performance. Now, of course, when it comes to benchmarks, these two phones differ significantly in terms of the benchmark scores. Now, the Black Shop 5 Pro is technically 30% faster in single core and 20% faster in multi core scores in Geekbench 5, and it maxed out the score of the 3D Life Wildlife test. But for the Black Shop 5, of course, it is a pretty old SOC already. It runs at a lower score, but I have to say that when it comes to actual real-world performance gaming on Genshin Impact and some other games out there, the performance, to be honest, is barely noticeable. They can run games very, very smooth, and I have no issues with either phone's performance. Now, of course, most of you looking into gaming phones would be concerned about the thermal performance on both these phones because it really affects the way you game, especially with the Black Shop 5 Pro because it comes with the infamous Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip that is prone to overheating on some other phones out there. But thankfully, Black Shark's liquid sandwich cooling system has managed to tame down the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 pretty well despite it is still a pretty hot device to hold when you game for long durations. I do notice a little bit of frame draws when gaming intensively and and if I'm running uh, Genshin Impact uh, for a slightly longer time, like about 10 minutes or so, there's a little bit of frame drops, but it will get back really, really fast. So if you intend to get the Black Shark 5 Pro, you might just want to get Black Shark's uh, cooler that is actually pretty good when it comes to cooling down the phone. Whereas as compared to the Black Shark 5, it actually runs hot, but it's not until to an uncomfortable level. And I have to say that the frame rates are actually way more consistent than the Black Shark 5 Pro. Apart from having great performance, what sets these two phones apart from the rest of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 phones is that they come with pop-up magnetic triggers that you can actually program it for gaming, which actually makes gaming a lot more enjoyable and feels more like a console. So that is something that you can't get on some other Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 or 870 phones that you find out there that is actually cheaper than them because they actually come with these conveniences that is designed for gamers. When it comes to their cameras, I'm happy to report that both the Black Shop 5 and 5 Pro have decent camera systems when it comes to gaming phone standards. But despite that, they have very different triple camera systems here. The Black Shop 5 features a 64 megapixel primary lens along with a 30 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel macro lens. Whereas the Black Shop 5 Pro features a 108 megapixel primary lens along with a 30 megapixel ultra wide and a 5 megapixel macro camera. As you can see in the photo samples, image quality on the Black Shop 5 Pro obviously reigns supreme over the Black Shop 5's camera when it comes to saturation, contrast, dynamic range, color accuracy, and detail. I mean, the Black Shop 5 is not too bad, but if you compare side by side, you definitely see the difference between the two. As for the selfie cameras, even though both phones feature a 60 megapixel front facing camera, you can see that the Black Shop 5 Pro takes better and sharper selfies as compared to the Black Shop 5's camera when it comes to low light photography. Now, that is something that's actually pretty surprising, which I have to assume that it could be the ISP of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 doing its magic behind there. And the same goes to video recording. Even though both phones support up to 4K 60 frames per second, the Black Shop 5 Pro is once again the better shooter out there with a more consistent exposure and better colors, contrast, and detail. Furthermore, the Black Shop 5 Pro's camera supports taking HDR10 Plus video if that is what interests you. In terms of battery life, both phones will definitely last you a day if you are using a moderate 2 to 3 hour screen on time. But in terms of efficiency, I have to give it to the Black Shop 5 because it really feels more efficient when it comes to gaming as compared to the Black Shop 5 Pro. As a reference, I game about 40 minutes on each of these phones, playing a mixture of Genshin, Call of Duty, and some other random games on the phone. To be honest, the Black Shop 5's battery dropped from 100% over to 85%, whereby the Black Shop 5 Pro would have already dropped to about 79%. Now, that's about 7% of difference, and it is actually a huge variance when it comes to gaming time. But thankfully, these phones both support that super fast 120 watt charging. So even if you were to pick up the Black Shop 5 Pro, you definitely wouldn't find that an issue because it takes about 15 minutes to get it fully charged from 0%. And I think that's a really great thing for a gaming phone like this. So which Black Shop 5 phone should you go for? 
That is a tough question and it really depends on how much money you have to spend because both of these phones have very different starting prices. The Black Shop 5 starts at 2,299 ringgit for the 8GB RAM and 128GB storage model and the Black Shop 5 Pro starts at 3,699 ringgit for the 12GB RAM and 256GB storage model. There is of course a higher storage variant for both these phones but apart from the Black Shop 5 Pro which you don't get more storage even if you are willing to pay more for the higher end model because it only comes with 16GB of RAM and only just 256GB of storage which is kind of a little weird for Black Shop Malaysia to do that because to be honest, you don't really need that much RAM when it comes to gaming. 12 gig is pretty much sufficient, but then most of these days, games are getting so big, a larger storage variant would have been great if Black Shark Malaysia actually offered that right here. So if you ask me which one to go for, of course, I would definitely recommend going for the Black Shark 5 Pro if you want a future-proof software update because Let's put it this way, the Black Shark 5 is already running on a pretty dated SoC, even though it's still pretty capable right now, but then the Black Shark 5 Pro is going to get a lot more updates in the future as compared to the Black Shark 5 right over here. You also get better gaming performance with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip and of course a more attractive design that shouldn't feel boring after using it for a few years or so. So that's all for my review of the Black Shark 5 and 5 Pro. They are great gaming phones that I recommend that you guys go check out if you're actually hunting for a new gaming phone to go for this year. So thanks for watching this video for today. Stay tuned for more videos coming right up on the channel. Say subscribe to us and follow us on social media and leave us a comment down below if you have any questions or comments about the Black Shark 5 and 5 Pro. That's it for now and I'll see you guys in our next one.